G'day guys, it's Lazarus here, and telling the difference between male and female angelfish can be super tricky, probably one of the trickiest in my opinion. Now, when you are going to sex these fish, you're gonna to need to make sure they're fully matured. If they're not fully matured, then they probably won't show the proper signs that I'm gonna be showing with you today. To tell if they're sexually matured, they're usually gonna be around six centimeters long or longer. That will be so you ensure that you have matured angelfish that are ready to breed. Otherwise, you might just have angelfish and you're curious to see what genders they are in case you want to name them, that sort of thing. Well, stick around to the end so you don't miss out on any important info and consider subscribing if you like this sort of content. Okay, so there are two different ways of pairing angelfish. The first way is to get a group of angelfish and let them pair off. If you're going to breed angelfish, then that way you're not going to need to be able to tell male and females. So they're just going to do it by themselves unless you are pretty curious to see which one's the male and which one's the female. If you do want to selectively pick your angelfish from the fish store and you want to try it force them to breed which is what lots of fish keepers do then you have to get slightly bigger angelfish and you just basically tell the male and females using the tips I'm going to share with you now. All right, so how do I tell if an angelfish is male or female? All right, so the first way to tell is males will usually be larger than the females. So in the pair I have back here, the male is much bigger than the female, not like a double the size, but you know, a bit bigger that's very noticeable. And I've seen that with almost every other fish keepers pair of angelfish so it's definitely a great way to tell also males do tend to have a bigger hump a more round and pronounced one than the females which is like on the head they're gonna have a bit more of a rounded head the females will usually be a bit more flatter and straighter all right so now the main way of telling the male and females kind of the easiest but also kind of the hardest it's that little tube near where it poops. I just call it a tube. I don't know the actual name for it. It is basically the key to telling if it's a male or female. The males will usually have very little, little stick that comes out of there. It's a very small, thin tube and it's kind of like a pin, but then you have females. They can have a bit more of a thicker one, a bit more of a bigger little tube that comes out. So the female uses that little tube to lay the eggs across the leaf of the plant or on the glass or wherever they're laying the eggs. Whereas the male will spread his little pin and fertilize all the eggs. And that's basically where that body part comes in handy when breeding, if you want to know that. I don't really like selectively breeding different angelfish and forcing them to pair them up because most of the time you won't really see those little pins and tubes stick out of them that often. So with my pair back here, female only shows her big tube when she's actually laying the eggs. But other than that, usually it's pretty tucked in and hard to tell. So for the best success, I highly recommend you just get a group of angelfish, let them pair off. Otherwise, you can always go to a friend who has a pair, borrow them and uh, breed them for a bit. That sort of thing. That's what I did. I just got my cousin's pet already paired off. So it's up to you, but that's basically the only really good way to tell if uh, angelfish is a male or female. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more content just like this. But have an awesome day. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll see you all in the next video.